It has finally happened. We are finally kicking debt's butt. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. This is my husband, Mauricio, and my daughter, Melina. We are currently on Dave Ramsey's baby steps to pay off more than $300,000 worth of debt. We are smack in the middle of baby step two and just inches away from paying off our third debt. So if you want to be motivated to kill it financially with us, click that big old red subscribe button down below. So today we're going over what we spent and where we spent it. We did kill it this month, but like every other month, we also spent money. It's kind of the financial equivalent to eating veggies only for breakfast and lunch so we can have cheesecake for dinner. So let's jump on in. In our utilities category this month, we paid $193.25 to our cell phone and $270 to our storage unit. And as you all know, I thingy, if you don't know why we have a storage unit. In our transportation category, we paid $33.76 to gas. That has not come through. It is the last day of the month. So I'm keeping that $50 in there because I think it's going to come through. If it doesn't, I'm going to go ahead and roll that over to next month. So you will see it next month. And then we normally have $70 for our easy pass, but we didn't have to pay that this month. We paid our normal $590 for before and after care for Melina. We did not have to pay anything for Melina's school bucks which was awesome. And we ended up paying $12 for miscellaneous school expenses for Melina. That was a field trip that the kindergartners went on. And in insurance and tax, we paid our USAA insurance. They don't cross every dollar, but we did pay those two bills. But what did cross every dollar was $12 for CMFG insurance and $35.83 for Mauricio's life insurance. And in our cash category, I did a whole video on that, so I'll link that up in the eye in the sky so you can see exactly where our cash went this month, and there wasn't any leftover, maybe a nickel. And in our recurring or annual fees, we had $30.97 to iTunes, $44.95 to Weight Watchers, $14.95 to Audible. We didn't have to pay anything for Skype, $3.99 for Amazon Music, and $99 for our every dollar annual fee. And in my YouTube category, I had $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $3.43 to Morning Fame, and $19.95 for a YouTube group I am participating in. Now you will see I did have originally $150 in there for another hard drive and I didn't feel like I quite needed it yet. So I'm going to be rolling that over to next month. And in the medical category, the first category that had a lot of expenses, we had $92 for my eye drops. Why? Because I have sucky eyes and they're getting more and more expensive every day. So I did have to get my eye drops and they were expensive. I think the next time I go to the doctor, I'm going to see if there is a cheaper version of these eye drops because I don't want to have to pay $100 every month for eye drops. Melina on Easter Sunday got super, super sick. I mean like super sick. And we ended up buying a pulse oximeter because we were both extremely concerned that she was developing pneumonia. In the past, she has gotten a cold. It looks like it has gone away. And a couple of days later, she gets like really sick laying in bed, like a lethargic lump, and every time has been pneumonia. And that is exactly what happened to her this time. So we were panicked. But the pulse ox said that her O2 and her heart rate was great. So we ended up not taking her to the ER. And then Melly did have medication that cost $5.32. 
Mauricio went to the dentist and that cost $68.60. And then shortly after Melina recovered from the last one, she came down with this, oh my gosh, horrible stomach thing. She threw up like 20 times in a very short period of time. It was bad y'all. After the first day she was a lump, she stopped throwing up. I get that. She had been sick for like the entirety of the day, the day before. But on the second day she was still a lump and I ended up calling the doctor and they said go ahead and bring her in. They figured she was probably dehydrated and if that was the case they were going to have to make me take her to the hospital to get IV fluids. But what they did instead is after describing all the symptoms, they said, we know what this is. And they came at us with a throat culture. They swabbed her tonsils and she was positive for strep. Did you know strep can make you throw up that much? I didn't. I had never heard of that before, but apparently it is not at all uncommon. And I even looked on WebMD and it actually says that on WebMD because you know, I have my medical degree from WebMD, true story. That whole doctor's appointment cost $51.57, but we got our antibiotics and just a, within 24 hours, she was a million times better. We kept her out of school for a little while and then a, I think two days later, she was fine and back to her old self. In the work expenses category, we had $4 for parking at my headquarters. And in sinking funds, I'm going to be doing a video on sinking funds probably in the next month or so. Just going over our sinking funds in detail, why we have the ones we've chosen and why we don't have some of the other ones I think we need. For now, we've got $150 in the medical sinking fund, $100 in the car repair replace, $100 in Christmas, $50 for an emergency trip to Columbia, $25 for miscellaneous school expenses. We didn't need to put anything to our emergency fund because we haven't touched it. We have $100 for summer camp, $100 for work travel expenses, and $100 for our 10th wedding anniversary this summer. And in our online category, I did a whole video of that and that's link I sky thing up there. I went through absolutely everything that we bought this month in that video. So if you wanna see what each one of these individual charges is, go check that out. And in our cushion category, I also did in the mid-month budget update, I talked about a lot of these. I mean, a lot, a lot. But I will tell you, we did have a couple of charges in here that were pretty intense. The first one was $132.67 for groceries. Why? Because I have decided that I am going to start eating vegetables millions of vegetables. Before I eat anything else, I'm going to eat a lot of vegetables and vegetables are expensive. That's really it. There were a lot of groceries bought and a lot of vegetables. And one of the reasons I didn't have enough cash for it, because you know, we have $260 was there was a fundraiser at work and I ended up paying cash for that. And I took money out of the grocery cash envelope because I couldn't pay with my card for that. Normally I would have paid with my card. So I ended up six of one, half dozen the other. And then we had another grocery run in at 94.64. So we were massively over on the grocery budget this month. I mean, that's almost $230 extra. We also bought Taco Bell for $15.94 one night. It was one of those nights where I had not prepared to cook and I got off work late and we ended up just buying Taco Bell. And then another night, my parents were going to handle dinner and it didn't happen. And so they asked us to pick up gyros on the way home and that was $32.12 that we paid for that. So in the video from two days ago, you know that we paid $10,546.16 to debt this month, which was pretty freaking amazing. And we're pretty much on par to put a lot to debt next month right now. So let's hope we can hang on real tight like we have been. Well, 
Well, I wouldn't say this was real tight. But, you know, relatively speaking, we did pretty awesome. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye.